Uh, th this is a very interesting case, and she's only 57, 57, oui. Oui. 57 years old, very uh, sportive, but it went downhill for her, and she ended up having just a little arthroscopic surgery. She had a chondromalacia, had that cleaned out, a couple of chips, but uh, started getting severe pain in the knee to the point in time that it was recommended that the knee was unstable, so they gave her a partial uh, prosthesis. And you can see from the radiograph, she has a shift of her tibial plateau. So it's actually subluxated and uh, moved over. So it was unstable. And she had a, um, a varus deformity of her, of her leg. And you can see there's a breakdown of the cartilage, and that gave her a lot of pain. To make a long story short, she was given the alternative of having a complete replacement of her knee. And then she elected to... Uh, to try the PCP therapy. So within, I think it's six weeks, right, from uh, January? Yes. Yeah. So, so within six weeks, uh, she no longer has the deformity of her knee, but very interestingly, in the x-rays, there's a shift of her tibial plateau. She still has some degenerative disease in the, in the knee with a widening of that space, but it's markedly more stable, and there's increased uh, tension along the, the medial compartment of, uh, of her leg. So with the therapy, not only is she more stable, but she can do things now without pain. So she wants to get back into, uh, into sporting and it looks like she saved herself another operation. The, the most incredible part of this therapy is that it's a very short period of time with no exercises to either the anterior or the medial or, or posterior compartments, which means to say that there's an increased tension which has resulted in stability of the entire knee without doing any exercises to promote the stability, which is really fascinating that one can have a rehab without actually doing rehabilitation exercises as we'd think. And uh, it's virtually, it's, it's not impossible, but it's, it's not likely when the leg is so unstable that you could very specifically make muscles stronger in one compartment and cause the shift as this has been done. So great that she has no more pain, but even more fascinating that it's markedly more stable or that muscle activity is, uh, is obviously causing hypertrophy and strength and integrity of muscles and increased tone in areas where there was laxity and increased movement. So it's an amazing uh, change that you can see physically and of course radiographically, but most importantly, how, how she feels. Mm. Oh.